Hello guys, in today's video, I'm going to explain you how much it costs the transportation in Cuba and I'm going to give you some tips about it. I'm going to be explaining this video. So we're going to talk about the cheapest option that you're going to find in Cuba. And if you want to spend a little bit more, which is not going to be expensive anyway, but you know, just in case. So this video is going to be very quick. And if you, and if you think, uh, to think, <laughs> and if you, uh, <laughs> And just in case you find this video helpful, subscribe and hit the like button just in case you want to support the channel. And if you want to see some crazy places, if you love traveling as well. This is moving around. I don't know why. Probably my hands. Now, the transportation that we're going to be talking about in this video is going to be only in CUP. Let's just start talking about the first option, which is going to be the bus. Of course, this the bus is going to be the crowded one because everybody get the bus. I mean, is the cheapest option. It's only two Cuban pesos if you exchange the money on the black market. And it's a symbolic price, so I think they're gonna be getting the transport in Cuba almost for free. In Old Havana, for example, if you're gonna stay in Old Havana, you wanna go to Central or maybe Vedado, you can walk, okay? So it's going to be even cheaper. It's going to be free. For those who want to take the bus, it's only two pesos. The second option that we're gonna be talking about in this video is going to be Las Gacelas. What Gacelas are, Alex? Explain to us. Las Gacelas are the yellow caps, but these are like mini pants. The price of this depends on where are you going. For example, if you go from point A to point B, you're going to be paying 15 pesos, 20 pesos. It really depends how far the point B is. If you go from point A, but you're not going to get to the point B, you're going to be in the middle, you're not going to be paying the 20 pesos or the 15 pesos you're going to be paying much less all right you need to act in advance because sometimes the taxi drivers they're going to be telling you that you should be paying the maximum which is not true okay if you want to speak in spanish please you should learn spanish you want to check this video right here where i was explaining you a couple of things about the cuban spanish which in my opinion is completely different to the spanish that you probably have learned if you speak some third option is going to be what we call here in cuba los roteros these buses are going to be for people who are going to be paying five pesos but you're gonna have a set and the problem with the transportation in general in cuba is that you never know when these buses or las gacelas or the bus is come is coming you have like a sign where they tell you the bus is going to come in five minutes. In Cuba, that's not going to work. So forget about it. You need to wait just in case. And now let's talk about the Colectivo. The Colectivo is a short taxi. I mean, you're going to be sharing taxi with other people. And the price of this depends again on where are you going. For example, if you're going from Havana to Vidal, you're going to be paying um, 15 pesos or 20 pesos. But if you go to, I don't know, from Havana to Guanabo, which is a uh, beach, you're going to be paying 100 pesos. It really depends, guys. Sometimes they have like a regular price and they charge you even more because it's not enough for them. For example, let's say that you want to go from Havana to Vedado, the official price is going to be 15 pesos. You're not going to accept it. They're going to tell you, no, this is not 15 pesos. This is 20, 25, even 50 pesos. They're going to be charging you more because they know that the, the, the street is going to be so crowded. People are going to be looking for taxis. In Cuba, we have subways. In Cuba, we use the trains, but I don't really like the train system in Cuba. If you want to see more about it, just let me know in the comments below so I can maybe do a video talking about the trains in Cuba. I, I don't think is you know, useful for you, but well, just in case you want to see that, just let me know in the comment section hey guys pay attention i already made some cuba guys completely for free you don't have to pay anything you can check the links down below where you're gonna get some extra tips extra tricks about cuba travel and i also made a cuba travel guide where you can get places to visit in cuba if you're traveling to cuba there are tons of things that you should know about it check the links down below let's continue there is another option that you can use when it comes to public transportation but i think this is not type of public because cargo taxis or like bikes like bike taxis something like that but they're not public i mean you can pay them they're gonna take you to the place that you want to get but it's expensive sometimes super expensive i would say and that's not going to be the, the options that you will get if you're traveling on a budget okay remember guys that you can always support the channel by going to buymeacoffee.com forward slash i'm currently in or you can become a member right here at the channel, which is going to be helping me so much because I can keep creating content like this one completely for free for you, giving you the best tips and tricks, not only about Cuba, but all the places that I'm going to be visiting in the future. My name is Alex Rodriguez, just in case you're new here. Talk to you guys in the next video. Ciao, picala, vuelta, picadillo. We're traveling soon. Peace.
you, see you, see you. <laughs> Love you guys.